Today we're going to look at the Messenger, one of my personal recent favourite 8 and 16 bit pixel games. I love the way that this game shifts time and you get to go from like the NES to the SNES era. You've got some great platforming which gets really frantic at times, mixed in with some really great graphics, some really challenging boss fights and some that can end up a little bit bizarre but really cool nonetheless. But you are the messenger, you carry the scroll and it is up to you to fulfill the prophecy. Now for a while I've been a fan of beautiful recent platform games like Hollow Knight, pixel run and gun shooters like Ultra Core and some even pixel hardcore games like Blasphemous. I love a good challenge and I love the indie vibe. Then came The Messenger, a Ninja Gaiden style pixel platformer and I absolutely love it. So you start off with not very many abilities which is a challenge in itself. You have to learn to move, to dodge, to strike and you can use a double jump ability when you strike and you can leap off of that to perform a double jump effect. It really adds a unique take on the double jump and it adds a lot of skill to the way that the platforming works as well. So I like the fact that you start off with not very much and you, you have to save up these gems so that a little bit later in the game you're then able to pick up other abilities and upgrade your character. For instance later on you'll be able to strike fireballs but you can't do that at the start. No spoilers but you do then enter the 16 bit era with a little bit of time travel involved. You're then going to have a lot more abilities in the game. You're going to continue to better upgrade your character. You get things like the wingsuit. You can update some of your stats. You'll get a grapple hook. You'll be able to really improve your character and you're going to need that to survive this game. Just when you think it can't throw anything more at you, it just keeps on coming. The game eventually then opens up to a Castlevania style exploration game that's going to blow your freaking little minds. The game just continues to deliver with stunning graphics, stunning bosses, fantastic artwork, and some of these guys are going to rip you a new one. It's going to keep you coming back to the game and keep you engaged to try to fulfill the prophecy of the messenger. Now just when you think this game can't throw anything else at you, there's some twists and turns, we're not going to give any spoilers here in this video, but you can see here some of the boss fights can become really challenging and really test your platforming ability to be able to stay alive and get to the end of the game. Now some of the bosses are really awesome and just for example this moth boss is something else. I, I just really love the way that it uses the shift between 16 and 8 bit and yeah it's quite a challenge. When I first started playing this game, I was pretty bad at it and it does take a long time with getting a few abilities and learning how the enemies work and how the character plays to be able to get to the point where you can do some more impressive gameplay, almost not exactly speed runs, but you can start demonstrating your skill, moving through the areas at pace to get to where you need to go and it's just a challenge to try to do that without taking damage because when you first start playing and you encounter new things, you do nothing but take damage and get a bit of a game over and have to play through again. But further on, the game really does encourage you to be your best and get better. One of the areas where this game excels is the humour. And it does that via characters here like the vendor and trying to access his cabinet. It's absolutely quality banter and I really really love it it's one of my favorite parts of the game and it just keeps using humor in the right way with some of the different characters and even some of the boss enemy fights as well really really top draw it's done really really well just like with Corval here he will bring you back but there is a price to pay now here is an example of some more frantic platforming sections I went out of my way to try to do this as fast and efficiently as I could without taking damage. I was amazed actually I showed that the time I've spent with the game so far, I have picked up some abilities to be able to smash projectiles, to lobby off of them and to carry on forward with without taking damage and actually making it look quite good in the process. 
but you know, I'm not going to lie, you're, you're never going to be that great when you first start this game. It is a little bit of an art style to learn how to play, but it really pays off and it's a game that you'll be so glad you've played and experienced. So what did you make of The Messenger? Is it a game that you've played? Is it one that you intended to play and haven't picked it up yet? Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video with some more fantastic gameplay. Yes, mate.